Now I'm going to show you how to set up featured images, also known as post thumbnails. It's relatively straightforward, it's one selection in a menu and then you can go ahead and create your post whenever you're ready and you're providing the paths to your images are correct, your post will have those those very important thumbnails and so on. Now here we are on the advanced settings screen. I've actually already selected my featured image menu here. I've selected my featured image header which is IMG and yours may be different. You may be IMAGE or, or something totally even different from that. That's absolutely fine. Easy CSV Importer will work with any CSV file headers so you do not need to copy my CSV file. All right. So here we are already selected and I've already saved it for, for the sake of speed. Now I'm going to scroll up, actually no I'm not, I'm going to go to the the posts screen and show you there are no posts just to prove that posts are about to be created and, and everything works as intended. I'm going to go to create posts and create one post. Now let me just scroll down and show you this is my WTG test thumbnails project. I have projects testing specific things so not everything is set up properly and I mentioned, uh, sorry, not everything is set up properly within each individual project and I mention that because the content itself isn't set up properly. So you will see a message here, do not be alarmed. Um, see, here we go, say fault, sorry, but the required content template post is not found. That's simply because I deleted it. I don't need it in this, this specific project because we're obviously testing these down here, the featured image. And my featured image, my big number one, is an image that is not stored on the same domain. It's not stored on this webtechglobal.co.uk domain. And the reason I mention that is because if it is stored on the same domain, it may not work. Your server, your server may not allow the the actions to be taken, that the actions that are required in order to copy the image or actually retrieve the image and then copy it and so on. So, if you're running tests, please ensure that your test images are elsewhere; they're on a different domain. You could just grab any URLs, any any image paths from anywhere on the web if you're running tests. Obviously if they become broken you might have an issue there but you know that's obviously up to you and and really that's it, it's, it's that simple. Let me just go up and show you the, the post itself. Just click on preview. Um, obviously I'm on the, the, default, the default theme so nothing fancy going on here and uh, as I've already said there, there is no content set up. We're, we're focusing on this image which is shown as it should be, it's a relatively small image. Um, if, if it was if it was larger, we could obviously we can make these images larger. For those of you who are quite new to WordPress and you've maybe stumbled on this video and you're just sort of learning all of this, the featured image can be is something that's controlled by your theme. Um, so Easy CSV Importer didn't style this little box around this number one, the size and the positioning, everything, all of that sort of thing. All of, all of that stuff is controlled by your theme itself, so they're, they're sort of separate things. And Easy CSV Importer couldn't really control that if it wanted to. All right, and that's that. Very short video. Thank you very much for watching.